Welcome to London, one of the most iconic cities in the world, where history, culture, and innovation come together to create an unforgettable experience. From the moment you arrive in London, you'll be swept up in the city's energy and diversity. This is a place where the past and present collide, where ancient landmarks stand alongside sleek modern skyscrapers, and where traditional pubs and markets coexist with world-class restaurants and shopping districts. London is a destination that is sure to captivate and inspire. Here are 10 places you must visit in this enchanting country. Number 1. The British Museum, located in the heart of London, is one of the world's largest and most comprehensive museums. Here are some of the highlights of a visit to the British Museum. The British Museum houses an amazing collection of over 8 million objects from all over the world, spanning human history and culture from prehistoric times to the present. The Rosetta Stone, Parthenon sculptures, and Egyptian mummies are among the treasures in the collection. Throughout the year, the British Museum hosts a variety of temporary exhibitions that explore various themes and cultures. These exhibitions, which are typically ticketed separately from general admission, provide an opportunity to see some of the museum's most iconic objects in new contexts. The British Museum's structure is a work of art in and of itself, with a stunning neoclassical facade and a soaring glass-covered courtyard. The architecture of the museum combines historic and modern elements, with many layers of design reflecting the museum's long and complex history. Number 2. The Tower of London is one of the city's most recognizable landmarks, with a history dating back over a thousand years. The Tower of London has served as a royal palace, a fortress, a prison, and a treasury throughout British history. The tower was built in the 11th century by William the Conqueror and has witnessed many historic events, including the imprisonment and execution of Anne Boleyn, the beheading of Lady Jane Grey, and the storage of the Crown Jewels. The Crown Jewels, a collection of ceremonial objects used by the British monarchy, is one of the Tower of London's main attractions. Crowns, scepters, swords, and other regalia are among the items in the collection, many of which are encrusted with precious gems and pearls. The Tower of London offers a variety of guided tours that take you through the tower's history and architecture. Learn about the royal residence of the tower, explore the medieval White Tower, and even see the famous ravens that live on the grounds. The Tower of London is an architectural marvel, consisting of a complex of buildings and walls that have been added to and altered over the centuries. The architecture of the tower reflects its many different uses over the years, from royal palace to military fortress. Number 3. Buckingham Palace is the official residence of the British monarch and one of London's most recognizable landmarks. The changing of the guard ceremony, which takes place daily during the summer and alternate days during the winter, is one of the most famous events at Buckingham Palace. The Queen's Guard, a group of soldiers who protect the palace and other royal residences, is replaced during the ceremony. During the summer months, the state rooms of Buckingham Palace are open to the public, giving visitors a glimpse into the palace's opulent interior. The throne room, the ballroom, and the picture gallery, which houses an impressive collection of paintings and works of art, are all part of the state rooms. Buckingham Palace is surrounded by extensive gardens that span over 40 acres. The gardens, which are home to a variety of plants and wildlife, provide a peaceful respite from the hustle and bustle of central London. The Royal Muse is a royal collection of coaches, carriages, and other vehicles housed adjacent to Buckingham Palace. Visitors can explore the collection and learn about the vehicle's history and design. Whether you're interested in the changing of the guard ceremony, the opulent state rooms, or the lovely gardens, you'll find something to captivate and inspire you on your visit. Number 4. London's West End is a vibrant and bustling neighborhood known for its theaters, shopping, and entertainment. Some of the world's most famous theaters can be found in the West End, including the Royal Opera House, the London Palladium, and the National Theatre. Whether you enjoy musicals, drama, or comedy, there is bound to be a show that appeals to you. The West End is a shopper's dream, with a diverse selection of stores and boutiques to suit all budgets. Oxford Street is well known for its high street stores, whereas Covent Garden is great for independent shops and artisanal goods. After dark, the West End comes alive with a wide variety of bars, clubs, and restaurants to suit all tastes. Whether you want a quiet pub or a lively nightclub, you'll find something to suit your tastes. The West End is well served by public transportation, with several tube stations and bus routes. You can also stroll around the area and take in the sights and sounds of this vibrant part of London. Number 5. The Tate Modern, located in London's South Bank, is one of the world's most famous modern art museums. Here are some pointers for a memorable visit to the Tate Modern. Because the Tate Modern is a large museum, it's best to plan ahead of time and decide which exhibits you want to see. 
The museum's website contains information about current and upcoming exhibits. The Tate Modern is open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., with extended hours on Fridays and Saturdays until 10 p.m. Check the museum's website for any updates or changes to the hours of operation. The Tate Modern has an excellent collection of modern and contemporary art, including works by Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, and Andy Warhol. The museum also houses works by many lesser-known artists, so explore the galleries and learn something new. On the 10th floor of the Tate Modern, there is a fantastic viewing gallery with panoramic views of the city skyline. The gallery is free to enter and a great place to relax and take in the sights. Anyone interested in modern and contemporary art should go to the Tate Modern. It's a must-see on any trip to London, thanks to its fantastic collection, convenient location, and breathtaking views. Number 6. The London Eye is one of the city's most popular attractions, offering panoramic views of the city from a giant Ferris wheel. The London Eye can become extremely crowded, especially during peak tourist season. It's a good idea to book your tickets ahead of time to avoid long lines. This can be done online or over the phone. Standard admission, fast track admission, and private capsules are among the ticket options available at the London Eye. Fast track admission allows you to bypass the line, whereas private capsules provide a more intimate experience. The London Eye provides breathtaking views of the city, including Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament, and St. Paul's Cathedral. The London Eye also features a 4D cinema experience that provides a unique view of the city. The experience is included in the admission price and is a great way to learn more about London's history and culture. Number 7. Hyde Park is a lovely and historic park in central London that is well worth a visit if you are in the area. Hyde Park is a large park with a lot to do. You can walk around Serpentine Lake, see the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fountain, or rent a paddle boat to explore the water. Tennis courts, a cricket pitch, and a horse riding arena are among the sports facilities available in the park. While you're there, be sure to visit some of the park's historic sites, such as the Albert Memorial and the Italian Gardens. You can also go to Speaker's Corner, a popular spot in the park where people gather to express themselves. The park has a variety of food and beverage options, including several cafes and snack stands. You can also bring your own picnic and eat on one of the park's numerous lawns. Hyde Park is a popular venue for events, so check the park's calendar before you go. Throughout the year, the park hosts concerts, festivals, and other events. Number 8. The Houses of Parliament, also known as the Palace of Westminster, is a historic London building that houses the British Parliament. A guided tour of the Houses of Parliament is the best way to see them. Tours are available on most days, but reservations are required, especially during peak tourist season. Tickets can be purchased online or by calling the tour office. Several historic rooms can be found in the Houses of Parliament, including the House of Commons, House of Lords, and Westminster Hall. The iconic Big Ben Clock Tower, which is currently undergoing renovations, is also visible. The tour will teach you about the history and workings of the British Parliament. Anyone interested in British history and politics should pay a visit to the Houses of Parliament. The structure is steeped in tradition and has played an important role in the evolution of modern democracy. Number 9. The National Gallery is a world-class collection of European paintings housed in one of London's most prestigious art museums. The National Gallery is located in central London's Trafalgar Square. The museum is open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., with extended hours until 9 p.m. on Fridays. The National Gallery is free to enter, though some special exhibitions may require a ticket. The National Gallery houses a large collection of paintings dating from the Middle Ages to the 20th century. Van Gogh's Sunflowers, Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, and Leonardo da Vinci's The Virgin of the Rocks are among the most famous works in the collection. The museum also houses an outstanding collection of British paintings, including works by Turner and Constable. Every day, the National Gallery offers free guided tours as well as audio guides for a fee. These tours provide an excellent opportunity to learn about the museum's collections and history. It's a great way to spend a day exploring some of the world's most famous works of art, and it's free to enter. Number 10. The Tower Bridge is a well-known landmark in London and one of the city's most recognizable symbols. The Tower Bridge provides visitors with access to high-level walkways and engine rooms. Tickets can be purchased online or at the bridge's ticket office. Children, students, and seniors are eligible for discounts. The Tower Bridge is best known for its unique design, which consists of two towers and a drawbridge that lifts to allow boats to pass through. Visitors can walk across the high-level walkways and get a bird's-eye view of the River Thames and the London skyline. The public can also visit the engine rooms, which house the original steam engines that powered the bridge. 
The Tower Bridge also offers tours, such as behind-the-scenes tours of the bridge's inner workings and nighttime tours with stunning views of the illuminated city. Audio guides are available in a variety of languages. It's an unforgettable experience that offers a glimpse into the city's past and present. Thanks to its fascinating history, stunning views, and one-of-a-kind design. Where in London, known for its many colorful attractions, would you most like to travel? Like and subscribe for more videos like this one if you loved it. Moreover, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and the bell is set on so you don't miss any of our videos. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.